Right, so I've just left my work. I'm out on these new Pirellis. So I've been waiting on a dry day to get them scrubbed in. Needless to say, in Scotland, in November, that doesn't happen. Here we go, let's scrub in these tyres. Moto Jitsu style. Moto Jitsu is another YouTuber, folks, called Fast Eddie. And he's not a 125 rider like me. Feel free to check him out. He's been going for quite a while. He's got quite a high number of subs, actually. Uh, so I was watching quite a load of scrubbing in the motorcycle tyre sort of videos and I stumbled across Moto Jitsu's one so he suggests low speed manoeuvres to scrub them in just car park stuff basically because you'll lean the bike a lot more in these slow turns than you ever will in a high turn so in turn taking that shiny new sheen off the new rubber and giving you a bigger patch of scrubbed in rubber than you'll actually need on a day to day basis I better add I know you can scrub in tyres on a track in 10 minutes probably <laughs> But I figured I would go just go out and try this. I've not actually been out in a while. There we go, big sale of thirteen pounds, eleven pence. All good to go. All juiced up. So I am out. no idea where I'm going, but I just had to get out because I've not been out in 8, 9 days, 10 days maybe, something like that. So later on this afternoon the weather's supposed to turn mental, so I'm just out for a quick hour or so before I go and get my boy from school. and I'm out on these new tyres so I've done the car park manoeuvres I went out again a couple of times first time I went out uh, I, was only, I only lasted 10 minutes or so it wasn't really the ideal spot to do it because it was on a down slope or on a slope So I went to a supermarket car park later on one day and done figures of eight and U-turns and spun it round in circles, got a bit dizzy and stuff like that after a while. But it wasn't very exciting so I didn't even bother filming it. So it's taking the, the dimples off the tyres anyway. Or some of them anyway at least. But the weather has been a bit Baltic recently and wet wet and Baltic is just not a good mix if you're not wearing the right gear as I keep finding out but my new RST trousers have just arrived this morning actually but I never had time to go home and get them also, that I don't want to stick them on and go out on them when they don't fit me properly, so I want to try them on with my new boots. I've got my helds on again this morning, so I've still not actually wore the RSTs yet. I tried them on and they fit, so that's a good start. I wasn't sure if I'd tried on the 10 or a 10 and a half in the shop, I couldn't remember. <laughs> so, Demon Tweaks didn't have the 10s, they only had the 10 and a half. So that was good enough. Goodbye, 80 quid. Bargain.
Well, the Wee River is running well. But I don't have a canoe with me, so I'm not going that way. Another thicker stick there. I stop here quite, o quite often when I'm down this way. It's quite a nice scenic little spot. Speaking of which, I'll grab a couple of pictures again off the GoPro. Well, it's getting close to December, folks. I reckon I've got another maybe three or four weeks of riding left. If I'm lucky. But I've got a few vids that I've just actually forgot about a few. That I've put together. Sitting on standby. <laughs> Still got a wee bit of a groin strain, so and I'm going to throw my leg over the back of the bike, which I hate doing, with a tail bag on. Because the amount of times I've caught my foot and nearly decked it is too many. <laughs> oh, get these heated grips back on. Back up. Don't tell me.
Done it again, folks. Done it again. Left the bag open. What a plonker! My cigarettes are in my pocket and I don't have a bottle of juice so I've not lost them. Surprised I never lost them gloves right enough. But I've hardly been hammering it on these new tyres. So thankfully never lost anything. Really I have lost, I think that's six, six packets of cigarettes I've lost now. I lost five uh, up until the summer, then I lost one like about I think it was about a month ago. <laughs> uh, it was on the other bike as well. Normally it's this one I leave open. The other one I'm not too bad with. But the little thigh bag that I've got is a tail bag on the YZFR. That's got a zip on it as well and just I left the zip open. It's too many things to remember when you're riding as well as staying alive. So, so far so good on the new tyres. I checked the tread depth on the YZFR, Pirelli Angel Cities, and they're down quite a good bit. So the guys, the guy that had the bike before me just put them on I think it was about 10 miles before I got the bike, uh, so I just, I never thought anything of it, I just, I just rode it like I would the other one, uh, but they've got like half the, half the depth of the new ones that I've just put on this, so they have worn out quite a bit, but I do, I, you do definitely lean the bike a lot more on a fair bike, you seem to just makes you more confident. You will lean that little bit more than you would on an upright naked. But I enjoy both. <laughs> Kill wee puppy. Absolute donkey you are, by the way. What a donkey! dog walk out onto the road. Well, the camera died on me there, folks, since I left the anchor uh, battery pack in the office through there. So I was running on the battery off the camera the whole time I was out. It froze on me, actually, on the way down for some reason. Uh, it's becoming more and more temperamental. It's getting a pain. But I'm still not buying a 10 yet. So I'll have this off the road for a couple of months during winter, so I'm going to get these all powder coated with bits of painted yellow and maybe even the bars as well. So you'll see that in the new year, but I'll be out in this again, so you'll see me again in this before the year's out. Cheers folks, peace out, thanks for watching. Please like and sub or dislike.
although there's no, no counter on the dislikes now. One of my videos had 600 dislikes as well, and they all seem to have vanished. I'm quite happy about that. But that's another story. <laughs> Cheers!